Hello everyone, Brian from Sui Generis Brewing here. It is April 7th, 2023, so happy Good Friday for those of you who celebrate. And I'm excited to sort of announce the start of a new project of mine, the 50 meter beer project. This project is something I've dreamt about doing pretty much since I started brewing many, many years ago, and that is to brew a beer using ingredients entirely produced by myself. And so this year I'm gonna make a try of it. So I'm going to do the series sort of vlog style in the hopes that I can actually put out videos on a somewhat regular basis. And I'm going to sort of bring you along on my journey as I either succeed or fail at doing this. So you can see right now I'm sitting in an empty vegetable patch. Uh, I am about to plant a barley crop here. It's the first time I've grown barley since I was a teen, so we'll see how that goes. You can see my house behind me, and on the other side of that I do have a small hop yard. And down the hill, we have an artisanal well where I can get water from. And all of that is located within 50 meters of where I brew, so hence the 50 meter brew project. So today I'm just preparing the area where I'm gonna be putting in a barley crop. I'll put that in tomorrow and hopefully have a second video up tomorrow uh, showing that. But before I get into doing that, I'm just gonna quickly show you uh, where the hop yard is and show you where the water comes from. So welcome to the south side of my house. This is where I have my small hop yard. I'm sh not sure how well you can see it with the shadows, but there are three rings in the ground where I have my hop plants. Uh, they're there to keep the hop plants contained, but also to help limit the amount of weeding I have to do. Now these two here are actually empty. I did plant hops in them last year, but a skunk or something came and dug them up pretty much the day after they were planted. So I'm down to just one, and that's this plant over here. And this is a Canadian red vine, which is a very rapidly growing, high producing hop variety. And I think you can see where the name red vine comes from. They are quite brilliantly colored when they're young. So my plan is to split this plant this year in order to get two more. But instead of doing the traditional thing of splitting the rhizome, I'm instead going to use cuttings. And my rationale behind that is this is only a year old plant. It probably doesn't have a large root ball yet, and so I don't want to weaken it. I really want to have the best yield I can from this plant this year. So normally you cut back the first growth that you see here in order to uh, allow the stronger plants to grow later in the season. And so I'm going to just take some of these once they're a little bit bigger, put them in water and hope that I can get them to root. So down here is an old artisanal well. Uh, artisanal simply means that it's always running, which is why this region down here is a little swampy and flooded. And this is where I'll be getting my water from for the brewing project. Now we have had this tested. It is safe for consumption in that it doesn't have any uh, fertilizers or pesticides in it. However, as you can see, the well is open. And so because of that, there are some bacteria in there, so I do have to boil it before I use it, but it is otherwise ready to use. You can hopefully see here, it kind of goes down into a nice little creek, uh, and off in the distance here, we have our boys. So welcome back to the garden. Uh, the first step in getting the barley ready is actually to work this compost into the ground. Barley doesn't do too well with chemical fertilizers. It doesn't like a lot of nitrogen, so this two to three year old compost should be ideal. Uh, once that's worked in, the barley bed's ready to roll and it'll be time to plant. So I don't have my lapel mic, hopefully you can hear this, but uh, that's done. The compost was maybe not quite as decomposed as I had hoped, uh, and pretty heavy and wet, so I'm going to leave this for the rest of today. It's windy, we got some sun, it should be dry enough tomorrow to break it out one more time and then plant. So that's it for the first video, hopefully you'll join me tomorrow or the day after we put up the next. And until then, I'm Brian, see you later. Blue bringing up the rear. <laughs> 